Hello everyone, I just want to do a really quick video on some of my favorite products to use in my crochet braids. I know a lot of people say not to use anything, that you know, it's not your hair, blah blah blah. But anybody that knows, especially if you've tried the curly stuff, you know you need product to maintain the hair. Or even just product on your scalp. Uh, this is going to be a mix of products both for the hair and for my scalp. Starting with apple cider vinegar. Uh, I know a lot of people talk about apple cider vinegar because it's the miracle worker. Uh, the very first time I put in like straight crochet braids or even the curly stuff um, my head was on fire literally like it just not literally <laughs> but uh, it was itching and burning it was a nightmare and I end up having to take it out because I tried the apple cider vinegar rinse with it in it wasn't helping so now I pre-rinse the hair before I put it in. Um, I twist it up on in the pack that it comes in or braid it up or that depends on the hair I'm using and then I rinse it with apple cider vinegar and water let it dry and then take it down and that helps you avoid frizz at least in my opinion and with the hair that I use it has done that. So very first apple cider vinegar first thing in the process. Then um, to help with itching and dandruff and any kind of scalp problems this has been my very best friend. It is the Talia Wajid, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, uh, African Healing Oil. The very first couple of times I put in crochet braids, I was having problems with dry scalp and dandruff. And you have to understand, I'm coming from being perm, perm, permed. So the reason I do crochet braids now is because I'm trying to go natural. And I need something to maintain in between because I don't want to straighten my hair all the time. So I don't know if it's just going natural or what, but my scalp is rebelling and I'm having all kinds of issues until I got this. It's amazing, no build up, it's beautiful, <laughs> trust me. And again, that's the Talia Wajid African Healing Oil. Um, next, when you, if you do want to uh, rinse out your scalp, which I still do, even if I don't have build up, about at least every two weeks, and I only keep mine in for a month, so I just do this once with an install, is this uh, Carol's Daughter Mimosa Honey hair or mimosa hair honey clarifying scalp treatment um that is what it looks like i don't know if it will focus it comes in a bottle like this and you can just take take the uh little top off and put it in between your braids it's got a little lid like that that you can just put it right in between and you don't have to rinse it out you just put it in there and it's amazing you just instantly your scalp feels it's very soothing it actually says soothing on the bottle it feels amazing it cleans up any build up or dandruff you have I love it I will warn against this one because this is the first one I tried and I love ORS products but this stuff right here is horrible ORS herbal cleanse dry shampoo this stuff it burns <laughs> burns burns it does what it says it does clarify your, your your scalp will feel clean afterwards but at the expense of a lot of pain you're it's gonna hurt it's gonna be a nice burn like when you left your perm in too long kind of burn um after that for your actual maintenance of your hair gorilla snot most people probably already know about gorilla snot i'm just happening upon it but for those edges it works love it uh, then this just any kind of spritz uh, it doesn't have to be this brand any kind of spritz especially when you use well I've had it both with the curly hair and with braids after a while the top of your head you start getting a little fuzzies pop up or at least I do um, out of my braids so if you put spray some spritz on top wrap it in a scarf beautiful um, for curly hair specifically these last two are just for the curly hair which is why I'm saving them for the end mousse it definitely this is I would say for quick like if you're in a hurry this will be really quick to get any frizz down to kind of detangle a little bit that you can actually put your fingers through the hair like this is four weeks in and I can still do that. It's not as it detangles just because it's adding that little bit of wetness and it allows you to get that frizz out. So definitely any kind of mousse. This is just trust me mousse but whatever kind you want. And if you have a lot more time, I saw this on this girl's video. I'm not I'll link it below. I'm not sure so you can actually see the process that she used to put it in. But this Pantene Truly Natural um, Deep Conditioner, or no, Curl Defining Conditioner works miracles on this hair. Let me tell you, it makes it soft, it makes it detangle, I mean it just it changes it up because the first couple of times I was just using the mousse and then when I used some water with this, 
it was a whole new thing like I was just a lot happier with this hair in my head so I would definitely recommend this if you're using curly hair um and I think that is all um I would say don't be afraid to experiment uh, with products and crochet hair it's not your hair it's cheap hair you know I know a lot of people are like don't use product but do you I feel like it's in your head, you don't want to be unhappy with the way it looks. So don't be afraid to experiment. And that's it. Hope you enjoy.